Hello, it's Travis Edwards with another mental check. Take a shot of your positive vibes. Let's go! Welcome to another Mental Check. Today, we're going to talk about cause and effect. And um, I've listened to several people talk about cause and effect. I remember listening to this YouTube video on, uh, on, on, on Oprah. And Oprah was talking about it's pure cause and it's effect. This is what happens and this is how the universe works. But I just didn't seem to understand what the spiritual universe was, what was effect. I didn't really understand the concept. And so last year, I, I, I took a course, a lot of, I took a lot of courses last year. Uh, I took a course called Mulberry Hill Gang by one of my mentors, Raymond Aaron. And he started teaching me about the spiritual universe. The whole course of three days was just on the spiritual universe. We actually talked about um, the progress versus the gap yesterday, and that's a spiritual universe concept. And so today, we're going to really get into what is the spiritual universe, what is the physical universe. But we really have to define some things first, right? And so I want you, if you're religious on this call, I am going to be honest with you. I am not trying to convert you or anything of that nature. There's nothing to be converted to. You just need to understand the information that's coming in. So we have to understand, in order for us to understand cause and effect, spiritual universe and physical universe, this is what, what we have to define spirituality versus religion, Okay. So if you were to, if right now on your paper, you're listening to this on your paper, draw a line across the middle of your paper, put spiritual universe at the top and we'll put physical universe at the bottom. Okay. And we're going to be, we're going to be elaborating on this over the next couple of days. I can't teach this to you in 10 minutes. It's impossible to do it. Well, not impossible, but I'm choosing not to. And I'll explain what I just said (laughs) to you guys right there. So what is the difference between spirituality versus religion? Well, spirituality asks questions and religion answers questions. The difference is spirituality asks questions and religion answers questions, right? And so you can go to whatever religion you want. You have a question. You can go to whatever religion you want and you could probably find the answer based on that religion. So what are the questions that spirituality asks? One question that it asks is, where did I come from? So I'm going to say that again. The first question that spirituality asks, or one of the questions spirituality asks is, where did I come from? Number two, what am I doing here? Number two is, what am I doing here? And number three is, where am I going next? And I'll say it one more time. Where am I going next? So just to repeat those three questions, where did I come from? What am I doing here? And where am I going next? And you'll go to your religion to answer those questions. So it could be religion one, two, three, whatever religion you go to, you'll find the answer for, for um, the questions that you have based on off of religion. Now, this is very, very important to understand because if we don't really understand spirituality versus religion, then we're going to be lost in this whole entire conversation. Now, you, whatever religion that you're involved in, because you're part of that religion, you have to believe. And that's, and I'm going to stop it at that. So you can believe what it is. But we're talking about spiritual universe and physical world today. Now, which, if, I, if you guys were to guess... Where do you think religion lies? Is it living in the physical universe or the spiritual universe? If you're on audio, where do you, where do you think religion lies? The reason that religion is physical is because it is the creation of man. So religion lives in this physical universe. It's the creation of man. Okay? So I want you guys to take that in. That is, as far as I'm going to go with that, just understand the difference between spirituality and religion. They're not the same thing. So if I'm talking about spiritual universe, I am not talking about religion. Two different things, okay? Now, let's go ahead and define spiritual universe a little bit more. The spiritual universe has no matter, has no energy. So if if you're writing this on your list, on the top of your page, you can put down the words matter, energy, 
time and space. But spiritual universe has none of those things. So you could cross them out. So you can just put an X right over those words. There is no matter, it has no matter, has no energy, has no time, and it has no space. The spiritual universe is pure cause. Okay? It is pure cause. We'll explain that a little bit further as we go along. Now, the physical universe has matter, energy, time, and space. You guys know that because you wouldn't exist if you're living in this physical universe because you're a mass of energy. There's molecules. There's air molecules all around us. So all those things exist in the physical universe. So when I talk to you about things like feeling, anxiety, goal, knowledge, fear, all of those words, they exist in the physical universe. But what we tend to do, and I've, I've done this with you purposely, as I use some of those words to kind of articulate the spiritual universe, but really, they don't exist there. It doesn't, it doesn't know what knowledge and fear and all these different things are in the spiritual universe. It just is. It's just pure cause, okay? So whatever, you shape your energy that comes into you. So that's physical universe. And again, I'm not, hopefully I'm not going over your head. This is a lot of stuff to explain. This is the first time I'm actually explaining it. Hopefully you guys get it. Now, as we go along, I'm going to raise the gradient. I'm going to raise the gradient. So right now I'm going to teach you at a low level, and I'm going to raise the gradient because one of the things I want you to understand, there right now, just understand at this gradient that there is no overlap between the spiritual universe and the physical universe. And let me not forget, the physical, the physical universe is pure effect. It is effect. So spiritual universe, cause, write that down. Physical universe, effect, pure effect, write that down. Now, in theory, there is no overlap. There is no overlap between the physical universe and the spiritual universe. Now, if you keep saying, well, I wonder what life is going to ha what, what's going to happen in my life today, or I wonder what, where is life is taking me, we are talking as, as if we are in effect. We are living in the physical universe. But what I am here to tell you is, you need to learn to become pure cause. And pure cause is acting like you are in control. Well, no, not acting like you're in control. You are in control of your life. It is basically having absolute control of your life. Effect is you have no control. And let me give you an analogy. A chair, a chair, a regular chair is a pure, is, a, is an effect. Because if you were to take a chair, use your hand and physically push it down, it just falls. It falls onto the floor right? That is physical. Chair is an effect. You just push it down, it falls down. The chair is a victim. And when you talk as if life has, you have no control over your life, you're acting like a chair. I hope that I go over you. When you act like you have no control of wh whatever is happening in your life, you're acting like a chair. You're acting like a victim. You're acting, you are living in the physical universe as, as, a, as opposed to living in the spiritual universe. Now, here's the thing. The majority of people on earth, imagine they're, they're pure effect. 90, I'm not talking about 50%. I'm not talking 80%. I'm talking about 99% of people act as if they're in pure effect, as if they have no control. <laughs> so put it this way. If you've said things like this, and I've said it, and I had to, I had to catch myself. You, I always used to say to myself, man, every time I wash my car, it rains. And then you got to ask yourself. So, so I said to myself, then I heard at this course, he says, so is the rain in control? Are the raindrops in control? Or um, every time I'm rushing to get home, I get all the red lights. Is the red lights in control? Think about what I'm telling you guys. This is crazy stuff. So take it for a grain of salt. So when you talk like that, you're talking at pure effect. All right as if you have no control now here's something that is going to really shock you okay either you're a chair or you're god and i will leave it there either you're a chair or you're god and i will explain that further tomorrow either you're a chair or you're god either you have control or you don't have control now 
I want you guys to understand one thing. Every time you justify or give yourself a reason, for example, you know, I was late to get onto the mental check today because my alarm didn't wake me up on time. You're just, that means you're justifying. You're saying that's a lie. You're saying that the alarm clock was the reason that you were late on this call today, right? Instead of saying that you had no responsibility in making sure that you were prepared and got up enough on time, just in case the alarm didn't wake you up, right? So you need to understand every time you justify, that's a lie. Every time you say, oh, say you live here in Toronto, or you're living somewhere called Barrie, and you have to get down to Toronto for an event. And you're saying because you lived in Barrie, you were late for the event. What if in, what re, in reality, you just never gave yourself enough time? It's not because Barrie's an hour away that you got late to the actual event in Toronto. It's because you just never gave yourself enough time. So you got to understand, every time you justify, you're lying. And you're acting as pure effect. You're acting like a victim. You're bowing down to the physical universe as if you have no control of whatever is happening in your life. If you have control over your life, then you would not choose broke. You would choose rich. You would not choose certain relationships. You would choose healthy relationships. Mm-hmm. This is, some, this is some crazy shit. So I want you guys to understand that we need to come from pure cause. We need to live in the spiritual universe and operate in the physical universe. Things will fall into place when you start acting like you have control. Well, you, you're acting like you do have control over your life. You'll notice you'll stand tall, you'll feel different, and you'll walk around as if you are God. You have control over your life, and everything that has happened to you is because it's supposed to happen to you that way, right? As opposed to it's just happened to me and I have no control, it just keeps happening to me. So that's as far as I'm gonna get into it today. We'll get into a little bit of more cause and effect tomorrow, but I want you guys to understand these concepts. Number one is that spiritual spirituality asks questions, religious ans religion answers questions, right? The spiritual universe is pure cause, the physical universe is pure effect. Remember, either you're a cheer or you're God. And every time you justify or you say, because, that is a lie and you are bowing down to the physical universe. You are acting as pure effect. You are acting like a chair. So I hope that was powerful for you guys today. I have a lot more to teach you with the subject. Have a good day. Take it easy.